Afyon Food Federation channel. If you are new here, I am Afyon. Now, several years ago when I moved back to Nigeria, I kept hearing about this dish called Gizdodo Gizdodo. And I really don't recall having this dish or eating this dish when I used to visit Nigeria as a child. So I found out that this is a popular Nigerian appetizer or side dish. It's normally served at celebrations or parties and weddings. And some people just love to eat it on its own just like that. So I thought, you know what? This dish is normally made with gizzards and fried plantains, but I can actually make this dish plant-based. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a plant-based vegan version of gizdodo that you can have on your table in a few few minutes and it's full of all the flavor and it still has all the spices and it still gives you that smoky crunchy meaty texture that the traditional dish serves up so as we head into the kitchen so that I can show you how to make this dish remember to look below this window you will see the subscribe button go ahead and hit the subscribe button also go ahead and tap that notification bell that way you can be updated as soon as new videos go up on this channel so with that said let's head into the kitchen So here are all the ingredients for this dish. Now I'm going to be adding in some scent leaf or African blue basil. It's normally not used in gizdodo, but I wanted to add that flavor in. I've got bell peppers, tomatoes, onions, garlic, ginger, scotch bonnet. I've got spring onions and I've got my seasoning and spices. And to give meatiness to this dish, I'm going to be using cremini mushrooms. So I'll start by peeling the plantain. Now my plantains are quite ripe. I like ripe plantains, but if you want to reduce the level of sweetness, you can use unripe plantains or you can use a mix of ripe and unripe plantains as that works for this dish as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these into cubes. I want the cubes quite thick because that's how this dish is. And I want them cut as evenly as possible so that they all cook at the same time. So I'm going to put everything in a bowl, sprinkle salt and some oil and give everything a good toss. Next up, I'm going to tackle the mushrooms. Again, they are providing meatiness in this dish, so I want them to be cut into thick cubes as well. The goal is to cut them as evenly as possible also, that way everything cooks at the same time. So I'm going to put these into a bowl and go ahead and season them. Now here I have my coconut aminos, some oil, some salt and some liquid smoke and this just gives that smoky flavour which I really want to have in this dish. Sometimes people end up cooking their meats outside on a grill and that's the flavour I'm trying to replicate. So I'm going to pour these ingredients into the bowl, sprinkle over some salt and give everything a good toss. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these on a parchment lined baking tray. I put them in the same tray. They're going to end up in the same dish anyway. You do want to watch the mushrooms when you're baking because they will cook uh, quicker than the plantains. So I'm going to place this tray in the oven at 180 degrees and cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes. So on to making the rest of this dish. So I'm going to start by cutting the ingredients. I'm going to cut half a bell pepper into cubes and I'm going to do the same with the green bell pepper. I'm going to set those aside and the next thing I'll do is to cut spring onion. And I'm going to cut the spring onions on a bias. There's normally not spring onions in this dish, but I added it for extra freshness. I'm also going to slice up the scent leaf and then I'm going to move on to the tomatoes. Now the tomatoes, the scotch bonnet pepper, the remaining half of the red bell pepper, the garlic and the ginger are all going to be blended up in a food processor. So I'm just sort of cleaning these up and cutting them into chunks. I'm not really worried about how I cut them. And I'm going to do the same thing with the onion as well. Again, everything is going to be blended up. So I'm going to put everything into a food processor and pulse it a few times until I get this really chunky sauce. So this is what you want it to look like. 
So let's finish off this dish. So I'm gonna put my pan on the heat. I'm gonna add in my oil. I'm gonna sprinkle in some thyme and some paprika. I just want to season the oil. I'm then gonna pour in my blended um, pulsed vegetables, add some more seasoning and salt and cover this so that the tomato cooks down. You want the juice of the tomato to cook out. Now I decided to add an, add an additional ingredient here which is dawa dawa powder which is um, dried locust beans but you can skip that part. So I'm going to put in my chopped bell peppers, green and red and I'm going to add in my onions. I'm going to sprinkle in the scent leaf and mix everything together. My mushrooms are done so I'm going to add those in. Also, I'm going to add in my plantains, those, those are done as well. I left them in the oven a little bit too long but that's okay. I'm gonna add in my spring onions last and give everything a good toss. And there you have it, a plant-based giz dodo, or in this case, mushroom dodo appetizer. This is a great dish for you to use to entertain friends or to eat at home and entertain yourself. Now, if you liked this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. Let's stay connected. And if you try this recipe, let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know if there are other recipes that you would like to see on this channel. And just remember that whatever it is that you get up to, eating more plants is always a good thing to do. I'll catch you in the next video.